Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're the highest rated printer service center nationwide. If you're interested in learning how to receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs. Okay, today we're going to be working on a Brother MFC L5850 printer. We're going to show you how to replace the drum and reset the drum counter. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to push the button on the far right of the front of the printer, open the door, and we're going to remove the toner and drum. They're going to come out together in one piece. <clears throat> Once you have it removed, we need to separate the toner from the drum. To do that, you push down on the little green tab that's on the side of the drum, and you can lift and rotate the toner right out of it. We'll set the drum off to the side. We will get our new Onyx brand drum. Inside of every Onyx brand drum, there are written instructions that walk you through how to replace the drum. Okay. Now that we have our new drum, we're going to reinstall our toner. You should feel it click into place. Once you've done that, you'll see this little green tab at the top of the drum. You're going to want to slide that back and forth across the entire length of the drum about two or three times, making sure that you end in the same place it started. There should be two little arrows pointing at each other. You're then going to reinstall the toner and drum back inside the printer, making sure that it's firmly pressed back all the way back inside. You can go ahead and close that front door. And with the printer still on, <clears throat> you're going to press the settings button. Then you're going to go to all settings. Machine info is going to be the next button. And then you'll see one that says parts life. <clears throat> Once you see get down to parts life, you'll see one that says drum. You're going to press and hold drum. When it says replace drum, you click yes. And then just like that, you've reset your drum and you'll be back up and printing. 